If you listen close enough to North Carolina's mountains and valleys and hollers, you'll hear it, the music of the high country. It goes on display every Tuesday night in Sparta, an Allegheny Jubilee featuring local musicians playing the mountain music that's been echoing from these hills through the centuries. Agnes Joins has been organizing the Jubilee for more than 15 years and says there's something about this sound that brings people together. We are a small venue, but uh, people like that because it, it's like family. They come in uh, hugging each other and uh, I've not seen you for a long time, so glad to see you. And it's just like family atmosphere. And I think that's one reason we keep going so well. For Mac McKinney, mountain music is both an art and a craft. It will amplify sound, and it also has great structural strength. McKinney makes and sells handmade mountain dulcimers. The mountain dulcimer was probably the first instrument we ever had in America. I'm not saying it was, but I said probably. You get interested in building any musical instrument, you can't wait to see what it's going to sound like after you get it finished. And as quick as you get that one done, you want to do another one. <laughs> and then we lay the top on like this. When instruments like these get in the hands of mountain musicians, the magic happens. The legendary Doc Watson got his start playing on the streets of Boone. And every Thursday night here, the next Doc Watson might just be getting their start at the Jones House Community Center. Well, just love music. And I don't know why, but people around here, there's a lot of people play music. Whether you hear it from locals in a small country store or from big names on the big stage at Merlefest, there's almost always a place and an occasion for this sound. In fact, in North Carolina's high country, you don't find the music, the music finds you. For more on mountain music and other attractions in the North Carolina high country, log on to www.visitnchighcountry.com.